The trick is to keep the lid on. Now, let it cook for one minute. You like cooking, don't you? Good for you. This is my sunny side up fortune telling. Um, when it turns out good, it means something good is gonna happen. Oh. So that's why you don't cook them over easy. But the secret to good cooking is to keep who's going to eat it in mind. Oh. Oh. Is this your mother? Yes. She's really beautiful. you were humming. It's from the periodic table, isn't it? <clears throat> Thorium, protactinium, uranium, neptunium, plutonium, americium, americium, ah, uh, curium. Curium. <laughs> curium. Curium. That's it. Curium. <laughs> <laughs> this? <laughs> May I? <laughs> there. <gasps> ah. <laughs> See, Sunny? Us girls have to look our best. Her name was Olga. Hmm? My mother. I see. Oh, it's going to burn. Oh, hold on. Hold on. did a great job. Dr. Emmerich, Liquid is in Eastern Europe. He's after the corpse of Big Boss. Huh? What for? It's the final key he needs to gain access to SOP. The keys to the system are Big Boss's genetic code and biometric data. Without them, there's no way to gain access. Wait, what's Liquid been doing all this time? Been performing a test. Two tests. The first, using the genetic code from Liquid's DNA chip. In his second attempt, he used the DNA code and biometric data extracted from Snake's blood. What's the need for the original if a substitute works just as well? Neither your genetic pattern nor Liquid's genetic pattern is a 100% match for Big Bosses. What do you mean we don't... 
match. <laughs> Dr. Emmerich. Hmm? Scientifically speaking, there's the markers implanted during the cloning process. The mixing of mitochondrial DNA within the egg cell. <coughs> the intentionally altered <coughs> terminate, mm, terminator genes, scientifically speaking. Both you and Liquid are as similar to Big Boss as you could possibly be, but you're still different. Different? Yes. So that's what Liquid was talking about. We're not copies of our father, after all. Which is why they created Solidus. But Solidus is dead. Listen carefully, Snake. This is the most important part. The AI that controls the system employs a highly aggressive, advanced IDS. It uses a special code to inspect all data and commands circulating within the network. Any data that fails to conform to that code is treated as a foreign object and expunged, like viruses killed by white blood cells. The authentication program this IDS uses is based on a genetic identification program, one I helped develop for FoxDye. It's set up so that host commands only execute properly if the key matches perfectly. However, if the IDS suspects someone is trying to break into the system, it registers that genetic code on a blacklist. That code is then blocked and can never again be used to access the system. So, if you're going to use a substitute, you need to find a new genetic access code with each new trial. So when Liquid accessed the system in the Middle East and South America, it was only a test. I can't believe this. Snake and Big Boss don't have the same genetic code? Strictly speaking, Snake and Liquid aren't the same either. Which is why Fox Die only affected Liquid at Shadow Moses and spared you. Let's put it this way. If Liquid uses Big Boss's genetic code, the original, they'll have the system completely under his control. Hold on. I thought having his code wasn't enough. You need his biometric data at the same time, don't you? That's right. And Big Boss is already dead. No. He's alive. Big Boss is... alive. His body is. Or rather... his cells. That's impossible! Big Boss survives as a biomort. A brain-dead shell sustained in the lab. <sighs> Liquid has already left for Europe in search of Big Boss's body. Right from the start, he knew his experiment in South America wasn't going to work. Europe, huh? If Liquid obtains the body, he'll be primed to make his final move. Hmm. Allowing him total control of the system. Exactly. Unless we can stop him first.
Uncle Hal, I found it. Huh? Oh. This is it. Where'd you have this from? AT Security. The Patriots. I can't believe this sort of thing it still goes on. Uh. The war economy is heating up the R&D race. No. <clears throat> it's not just the PMCs, either. Every corporation tethered to the military-industrial complex is losing its sense of morality. And it's us science holics who are doing their dirty work for them. Not even realizing it. Can we make Jack better? I don't know. Sunny. May I? No use. There's nothing we can do here. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Look at this. His artificial blood needs dialysis. We don't have the proper equipment. Dialysis? Getting his wounds healed is important, too. But at this rate, he's not gonna last that long. Dialysis? Is that like what k kidneys do? That's right. Raiden's blood is an older type of artificial blood that was used by the military, called white blood. After it's been in use for a while, the blood needs to be dialyzed. Filtered. Right now, he's slipping into autotoxemia. Dr. Madnar. I've heard of him. A world-renowned cybernetics expert. Strictly underground, though. We're in luck, then. It's settled. We must head for Europe. The sooner we get there, the better. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll call Campbell and have him get us landing clearance. Snake, where are you going? Well, I'm gonna be spewing up poison soon enough anyway. What's one more smoke gonna hurt? Uh-uh. This is a no-smoking flight.
<laughs> Who is this? Oh, her? That's my sister. I never knew you had a sister. For a moment, I thought she might have been your girlfriend. No, I, I don't have a... I... Emma was a brilliant programmer. She wrote the worm that destroyed the Arsenal Gear AI. Then... Vamp killed her. I'm so sorry. No, there's nothing for you to be sorry for. Or me. <laughs> I used to be an anime otaku. Oh. So, that's where Otacon comes from. I was always fascinated by sci-fi anime. That's what got me into this line of work. It's too bad reality wasn't so simple. I never even imagined that science, that my own research, could cause so much misery. I mean, it's not like a science holics or Satanists or anything. But even when we've got the best of intentions, we end up being used by others for evil. Uh, oh, Dr. Emmerich, I... Uh, you see this? Sonny helped me build it. <laughs> really? Sonny helped build this? We built it using top-secret docs and patents dug up from intranets at a bunch of research labs. To tell you the truth, I think she's better at it than I am. But she's just a child. She cracked the protection on your mail. Well, I um, assumed it was you. <laughs> Sonny was taken by the Patriots right after she was born. She never even met her parents. She spent her entire childhood inside the net. That's why she has trouble speaking. Her home is in the computer. She can only see the outside from the inside. She's always in there, searching for herself, searching for her family. She's trying to find out who she is and where she's going. Searching for herself and her family. She believes she can find the answers inside a machine hooked up to the world. She spends every day inside the net, exploring. For Sunny, this is home. No, it shouldn't be like that. What? It's time you let her go outside. What are you talking about? She hasn't even been born yet. She's still in the womb. She needs to live a real life. But Sonny's never shown any interest in leaving the Nomad. Frankly, I'm worried about letting her go out there. I have a feeling she'll do just fine. You really think she'll be okay going outside? That's not what I meant. I think she's got a good handle on her science. Ah. Uh, sorry. Go on. Huh? You were about to say something. Oh. Uh, right. Um, would you mind if I helped Sunny with her cooking? Oh, of course not. Go ahead. <laughs> but, uh, about all we've got on board besides military rations are eggs. No. Leave them off. It makes you look handsome. <laughs> you think so?
Uh, uh, Dr. Emmerich? Huh? Is it okay to sleep in there? Uh, excuse me? Well, Dr. Emmerich, um, I... <laughs> I know it's easy to forget sometimes, but oh, I, I am a woman. <laughs> you <well>. understand. <laughs> Sorry. I, I know it's selfish of me, but I'd like to be alone for a while. Right. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> uh, I'll show you in. Thank you. Good night, Dr. Emmerich. Yeah. Uh, if you get uncomfortable or anything, just let me know. Uh, I'll be out there working. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Uh, and, uh... Yes? Uh, call me Hal. Good night. Good night, Hal. 